Hey guys, it's Marissa. I'm so excited. Well, I'm kind of excited, but I'm also a little bit concerned. I hope you guys can put some of my fears at ease. Give you a few minutes to get in here. Let me show you, this is what we're making today. It's part of what you need to put my fears at ease about. It's a simple card, but I think it really captures my style in a beginner, stamping friendly way. So this is my thank you card for anybody who ordered with me in November. And also the card that I'm gonna to send to all my new craft fair friends. So I need a ton of these. I am making at least 60 additional copies of this card besides the four that we'll have here when we're done. So it had to be a card that I could make a lot of. You could definitely swap out um, this sketch with any image that you want here. So I think it's a good card. I've been really working hard on some beginner friendly cards. So this is our project. Here's two more color combinations with some different designer series paper featured. And then inside, I just do something creative every day. All right, so this is the project of beginner friendly um, card and um, but I'm a little and I'm gonna show you some sneak peeks. Does anybody see what? Um, product Something that doesn't look familiar to you because we're gonna do some mini catalog sneak peeks I thought it'd be fun to put those in for my um, Customers and friends who are really well versed in stamping up and in stamping. We got some fun little sneak peeks for you. So um, Hopefully the card doesn't bore you and if it does, I got great sneak peeks for you. <laughs> oh, when Ann sees it, Gina sees it. Yep, the punch. And I've also got the new mini paper trimmer here. We're going to use that today. So those are my two um, sneak peeks. So hopefully that makes you guys excited, even though the stamping is simple and the design is reproducible. Can I give you guys a little housekeeping? It'll actually catch you up, too, on some things that I have not... Um, been had a chance to post yet. December 30th, we are doing Cup of Christmas. December 30th is here in my Rolling Meadows home studio. This is a product class where you get the Cup of Christmas bundle, Cup of Christmas photopolymer reversibles stamp set, and the coordinating dies, cup of cheer dies, are included in your $66 class fee. This one is also available to go. You'd pay an additional $8 shipping. So $66 if you can pick it up, 66 plus eight to go. Either way, I need your RSVPs with payment by December 13th. Now this has been out on the blog and I've sent this class dates out and you've seen all that, but everybody says, yeah, Marissa, but what are we making? Okay, so two things. First, I'll show you what we're making in just a minute. But I want you to know that Cup of Christmas is, is on the while supplies last list, which means while supplies last. So if you want this class, here to go, email me and work out your payment right away so I can get it ordered right away. If you have Cup of Christmas, but you love what I'm about to show you and you still wanna do the class, you can substitute the product, $47.50, Retail value, please no 12 by 12 paper from any of the current publications. Just let me know in your email that you want to join us for the class, but you have Cup of Christmas bundle and you want these products instead. All right, is that clear? All right, so the class this time is three projects and two cards. Our first project is this mug cake treat box. So there's project number one. Three projects, but I'm going to show you the next card because there's a card that coordinates. Here's the coordinated card. And these are early espresso cards. So I'm going to show you how cute the insides are. All right, so there's the coordinated card. Then I have an adorable little accordion treat for tea bags. Look at how we turn that cup into a teacup or a mug of tea. And then there's a coordinated card for that. Do you see how we took this out of Christmas? It said all over the marketing that, that please note this, we will not be making any Christmas projects in this class. So this is a great set for your Christmas projects, but I wanted to show you that you do not need 
any sort of Christmas anything. Oh wait, this is not the coordinated card for this one. This is the next card. Let me show you the coordinated product or project for this card. All right, so also puff paint. We're using it in class. If you don't have it and you want to get it, you can add that on because that's well supplies last too. The snowfall puff paint. So that's our birthday card, and here's our coordinated birthday project. Now the box is a fold flat box, no adhesive. You can make these up ahead of time. They store flat, and it has a Mrs. Field and Taster's Choice Mess Cafe coffee inside of there. So this is the perfect set for coffee, for tea, for cocoa, for mug cakes, and it does not have to be Christmas. All right, if you're in and you want the bundle, let me know, because it's while supplies last. The 13th is your last day to RSVP for that class, $66. If you're taking it here or picking it up here, 66 plus $8 dollars priority shipping if you're taking it to go marissa at kitchen table stamper.com email me to rsvp i'll send you a paypal invoice now coming up even swifter than that but i don't have to order products for it is our paper and ink card class on december 16th let me show you the paper and ink card class cards really quick because i still have some seats available here on december 16th i'll be blogging these but this is our paper and ink card class for December. I decided to take a page from Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin is doing all occasions cards in December. And I thought, what a great idea. So we're going to feature the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set. And we're going to make a birthday card. Always here for you card, so an encouragement card. Welcome little one, a baby card. And hoot hoot hooray, so a congratulations card. Those four cards, December 16th. Tutorials for those are coming on the blog. I always put that one on the blog. All right, so let's talk about the sneak peek product and what you need to make this card. We're back on today's crafting. The supplies that you need to make this card include the Crafting Forever stamp set. It's from the annual catalog, the 2019-2020 annual catalog. It is a nine piece cling mount rubber stamp set and fantastic for the theme i had to have it i've always loved all things paper pens painting crafting office supplies so this one is i bought this one for me and i really love using it then our ink for this project is pacific point and coastal cabana i've got a one and three quarter inch circle punch i know it's crazy i don't know what to tell you i don't know why it's retired from stamping up but i just keep using mine I'll give you an Amazon link if you need one. You can also use the one and five eighths inch layering circles, but I'm about to make 60 more of these and any more if I can scare up enough paper to make any more than 60. So I'm using a punch, but I think that if you grabbed your layering circles, if you don't have that one and three quarters inch punch and you use this one and five eighths inch, the third largest one, that should be fine too. So I'll give you an alternative. This is the label me pretty i think that that's what it's called label me pretty punch this is brand new it's coming in january in the handmade mini so this is the january through june mini catalog is what we're calling it now i'm just gonna call it the mini catalog for short i think january through june mini catalog is way too bulky so that's the mini catalog and I cannot show you the inside pages. That's why being a demonstrator is more fun. So if you've ever thought about joining Stampin' Up, now is the time because you can order your starter kit, $99 starter kit, you get $125 worth of product and you can choose it from this book that I can't even open and show you. So this is the Label Me Lovely Punch. I just looked that up off camera to make sure I give you the right name. Now the mini trimmer, we're going to use that one today, is part of our celebration. You can grab the mini trimmer if you join Stampin' Up! in January. But if you're like me and just want to have everything first and you join in December, join in December. You get a $99 worth of product, or $125 worth of product for $99 and you can order it from the catalog. This is an item that is available to demonstrators only right now. And I do believe you can get this in your starter kit too. 
So if you've got questions about the demonstrator experience, the kit, um, being a kitchenette, um, being CPI with Angie Judah, she's my upline. So when you're joining my team, you're joining um, something even bigger. Give me a call. Give me an email. Let's chat about the demonstrator experience. It's awesome. Uh, but this little this little dude right here is only available right now to demonstrators during our pre-earn. We're also earning celebration items right now. Being a demonstrator rocks. Um, this little guy will be available for purchase coming um, January 3rd or 4th. January 3rd. All right. Supplies for the card. Calypso Coral. This is eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. We've got some... Follow your art designer series paper. And this is two and a half inches wide. We just got a strip. Got a scrap of Whisper White for stamping and punching my sentiment. A scrap of crushed curry for punching my new label. And then to line the inside of my card, I have Whisper White. And this is three and a half by four and three quarters. Project sheet's already done. Blog post will be up as soon as I can download the video, edit it, and put it to YouTube. So it's it'll be ready for you shortly. All right, I've also got a 1 8 inch handheld punch and some solid white baker's twine. All right, let's start with our fun little mini paper trimmer. This little guy available only to demonstrators right now and then only available in the starter kit after that is $26.50 and it comes with a little mini sampler pack of paper, all of the papers in the handmade holiday or the handmade uh, spring, June, January through June catalog. I'm gonna just cut this down to four inches, super simple on my new little mini guillotine. And now we've got two and a half by four. We're gonna slide this guy to the side and let's do some punching. Look at this gorgeous new punch. I love the size of it. I've been thinking for a while that all of the Stampin' Up! shapes and labels are very small. So this new larger shape is very exciting for me. I can't wait to layer in here with those layering circles that I showed you earlier. This one and three quarters scallop and the one and five eighths inch circle for some nice um, contrast and add some layers in there. Okay, now let's do some stamping. So I've got Pacific Point and Calypso Coral. I'm going to go ahead and ink my Crafting Forever Housework Whenever sentiment in Pacific Point. All right, so we're gonna stamp this guy so that we can punch it out, set it aside to dry, and then we're gonna stamp, do something creative every day in that same Pacific Point ink. And this one we just want centered in for our inside greeting. All right, at our scissor image, we're gonna just randomly stamp Calypso Coral on Calypso Coral. I like to start, start when I'm random stamping in the bottom left-hand corner. I like to fill in the space, kind of triangular. See, so my scissors are gonna make a triangle. And then the other thing I say about random stamping, and it's really hard for me, so I say it with much love and empathy, don't overthink it. <laughs> Just turn them this way and that and fill in the space. Try not to fill from the outsides to the inside. Don't like paint yourself into a corner right in the middle of the paper. Um, but other than that, it's really... I don't know. It's just random. It's made to be random. So don't overthink it. And then I also like to, in a random stamping, I like to kind of fill up as much as I can in large areas and then take a look at it and say, okay, I think I need a little something to break up the solid here, 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 and maybe on this corner. So then I'll just take the point and then I'll take we're gonna do the points again, I think. Nah, we're gonna do the handle over here. Handle, and then we'll do up in this corner, I think here, and then in this corner, definitely the points. So see, there's my random stamping. And there's as best as I can do it, don't overthink it. <laughs> 
All right, so I got my designer series paper and snail adhesive. Let me get the sample back in here. You guys probably want to see what I'm building. I don't know. I don't like these mystery lives where you don't know what's coming together. I like that you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. All right, so we're going off center for our balance and we're going to adhere that one down. Now our do something creative every day, this larger panel is going to the inside of the card. We can snail that guy in too. I like to condense my layers. Then there's nothing left to drop in an ink pad or on an inky stamp. All right, now the Crafting Forever housework whenever. We've got to punch that guy out with our antique <laughs> one and three quarter inch circle punch. I really would probably be doing the one and five eighths inch layering circles and getting it a little closer if I weren't making so many. But you know what? A crafting punch is a workhorse, especially stamping up one. So I'm still using mine. If you have questions, if you're having trouble finding one, I will try to um, scare up a quick Amazon link to one. I actually went into Joann's, which I don't do too often because I have everything I need with Stampin' Up, but I needed fabric. And um, I went down their punch aisle and there wasn't a lot there. So, you know, I think it's because most of us crafty DIY, we have a lot of circles. So hopefully you have a one and three quarter inch, but if not, and a one and one eighth inch too, because that's what I just did on the top there. One eighth, turned it into a tag. Now let's tie it up. All right, so we're going to just give this a little finesse. When you're giving a bow a little finesse, that little center knot there is your best friend. That'll keep it from unraveling while you bend it to your will. <laughs> okay, I think I got my hair in the video just now. All right, let's trim off the excess. We need a little Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm gonna do three halves of regular dimensional, kind of like a three leg stool. That should give it enough support to make it through the mail without crushing down in the middle. And then we're just gonna bump that up for a little dimension. What do you guys think about this new punch? I've already forgotten the name of it. I have to look again. I have to look again, but I can't show you. Demonstrators have more fun, I'm telling you. Never thought about being a kitchenette. You should try it. It's fun. Right, Katie White? <laughs> That's a label me, label me lovely punch. I hope that you enjoyed the little sneak peek. Wendy loves the punch, but has her eye on the trimmer. It is so cute. It is so tiny. Okay, so does this help you guys? I didn't realize how tiny it was. It's light as a feather. It feels pretty sturdy. The feet have a nice... Um, non-skid surface um the mechanism real smooth but look at the size of it here's a card you guys know four and a quarter by five and a half inches it's little it's so cute it'll be so easy to take with you or to have right next to you for doing those quick little scrap trims or um quick cuts the other thing that i wanted to show you guys um i don't have it right here i cut a piece of crushed curry cardstock um, look, I have this one. So when you cut cardstock with this little trimmer, there's absolutely no bevel on the opposite side. So if you cut all your little white layers uh, for your cards, like this guy on the white rectangle, if you cut all these little white pieces with this trimmer, but then if you cut all the rest of the cuts with that, you're going to have a front side and a back side that truly is, you know, two sides to every paper. You won't have that little beveled edge, which I think is so nice about this trimmer. No bevel on the opposite side. All right. So let me tell you, if you guys have any questions about anything, reach out Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. Reach out to me if I can do anything to help you stay crafty or get crafty. Join the kitchenettes. It's fun. All right, guys. Make it great. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.